Hi guys, welcome to Upsheta. In this one, I'm going to show you how to create a navigation uh, in SwellKit and also how to highlight the current page in our navigation. So let's get started. I have a empty folder here. I'm going to initialize uh, SwellKit. I'm going to use Skeleton Project. And once that is done, I'm going to install the dependencies. I'm going to serve this as well. I have it open in VS Code right here. Now let's see if we can, uh, if the site is served. Yes, it is. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Now, when you're adding a navigation, um, you will mostly be adding it in uh, the root layout. So we're going to create the root layout, double underscore layout.svelte. And here slot is important. This is where all the content will go. And when you do this, nothing will change. But if you don't have slot, you will not see anything on the page. That is why slot should be there. And now above this, we will have our navigation. So I'll have nav, uh, uh, unordered list, list item, then the an, no, anchor tag. Uh, maybe this is home. Right. So we see it here. Uh, we'll have a few more. About. Contact. And I will also have. Right now there are the pages are not there. I'll just create them as well. In the route itself. About. Dot. Right. And I'll create. Contact. That's right. I'll have H1, which says contact here. And I'll do the same thing for above. Okay, now if I click on uh, these uh, pages, it should go to the respective page. Uh, but one thing is, you know, uh, we don't know, like, you know, we want it to be highlighted which page we are in. Also, I will style this so I can have a style tag here itself. Now the nav, uh, I think the UL can be display flex and the uh, style list style can be none so that we don't see the disk. Um, yeah, and also the list item will have a margin left or margin right of uh, 1 em and uh, font to be bold, font weight to be bold. And uh, also um, on hover, I'm oh, sorry. Um, text decoration let it be underlined so what happens is when I hover over it there will be an underline all right now when I go to contact page the underline should stay uh, and when I go to about about should have an underline when I am at home home should retain that underline so let's see how we can do that now how do we detect uh, which page we are in uh, that's interesting uh, there is a there's a uh, variable called path or page uh, that we have to import from uh, app environment I'm guessing uh, app stores actually page from uh, app stores now here uh, we can actually see what page will have now if I console log here um, and refresh uh, okay so since it is a store I need a, a dollar sign to subscribe to that okay so we see that host and there is path as well path is what we are interested in let's say I go to about uh, path becomes slash about so page 
dollar sign page dot path is what we are interested in. Now, using that, we'll add a class called active. Now, let's say dot active. This class is not there yet. It has the same. It will have the same style as you know, uh, hover. Now, active is not there. Let's imagine I add the class active to about. Right. So only this uh, about page will have that. It doesn't matter which page I go. About will have it. That's not what we want. We want something uh, like when when we are in about page, we want it to be active. We want to add this class. Now there is a way to do that. Uh, we can uh, use um, class directive active equals when should we add in on what condition we should be adding active. Uh, if it is true, again it's the same thing. About will have uh, all the time but it should depend on a condition the condition is uh, page that path uh, equals I'm using triple equals you can use double equals now if I go to about page about will have that so if I use the same thing for all the pages here and change this according to their uh, respective path now we have uh, you know uh, a navigation which uh, which like you know highlights the current page if I go to contact contact is highlighted. Uh, this can be a little easier if your navigation is like you know uh, in a in an array if you have mentioned that so something like uh, const uh, nav equals something like this um, an object with uh, title as home and then it also has a path as this okay now I'll uh, copy this object multiple times two more times and the other one is about here also the path will be that and here it's contact the path is contact. Now we have this uh, these three objects. Uh, now what we can do is instead of this here, we can actually have an each um, now as item. Sorry, item, and then uh, I can end it. I can move one of these here inside. Now this should show a lot of them, a lot of home. Uh, instead of uh, this, I'm gonna remove. Uh, I'm gonna remove home here. Instead of that, I will have item dot uh, title. And here in the href, I will have item dot path. Right. Now here also, I will have item dot path and i can remove all these which are like hard coded now this should work uh, as same as before so uh, what it does is it it's, it kind of simplifies your app uh, and also it will be consistent uh, when you change something uh, when you add something like this uh, contact to something like uh, uh, projects and you have projects so you will not be repeating this uh, li tag again because project is already there and then it will it will you know it will work if you are in the project page it will be highlighted right now project page is not there that is why it is showing an error so yep that's that's how you can have you know navigation which highlights the current page thanks guys i'll see you in the next one bye bye